Hello there and welcome back to another episode. So I'm recording this one uh, straight after the previous episode just launched. Well, not really straight after. It's been uh, about a 12 hours or, or a day at least. And I have uh, I've seen quite a few lovely comments already. So thank you so much for uh, liking the video and commenting as well. It's uh, it's really great to be back. And um, I think I mentioned in the uh, in the description or or maybe in the video as well that. It was a pretty rough start and someone commented under the video that uh, it, it's not a rough start, it's a start of a beautiful journey. So yeah, I believe you are very correct and I hope it's going to be an awesome one. Right, so uh, let's uh, jump into the episode and then see what we what we got going. Uh, right, so the trout is no longer here. We have a rainy season and a couple of swimming water pumps in here as well. Now our next goal since we've uh, already seen most of the map is going to dry up very quickly. We've got a few natural barriers over here. So if we are smart, we could, you know, try and pile up a little bit of water here. Now, what this means is we're going to have to build this road all the way here. And I was thinking, well, since uh, these water sources, it's sort of the, um, and the waterfall itself as well, it uh, splits into two. So what we could do is uh, maybe take advantage of this side and build a road that goes all the way here we could i think i've done it already oh no i have not we could levy this section up in here and if we are smart and if we have space of course we could go something like this now the only tricky part is how are we going to reach all of that i guess we could we do have a ladder, right? Yes, we do. All right, so we'll grab this one. We could climb down. Do not build those. Build the furthest one first. And then these sections here as well. But they don't need to be versed. All right, it's almost evening again, and they have a very long hour, so let's cut this down. Uh, right, so the first uh, section is going to go right about there. We'll, uh, I'll extend this road real quick, quick as well, whilst it's uh, nighttime. And in here... Oh, we can continue this. Yeah, that should be pretty straightforward and easy. Okay, sweet. So uh, other things, I've queued up a couple of warehouses and one of them should definitely uh, hold some grilled potatoes. Where is it? Right over here. And we're going to need some more planks as well. We've got 13 right now, but I'd like to have a few more. We don't need those, so let's connect you up. And what was it again? Planks. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we also have an extra inventor house over here. I think we're going to leave those beavers in because we are going to need all four of them working for us very shortly. And what else did I do? I queued up a couple more trees in here and I'm thinking, can we build a road here? Oh, no, we can't build a road on top of this, but that's fine. Uh, I'm thinking to get rid of um, all of those blueberries because they're no longer useful. We got carrots and potatoes going. So maybe, perhaps we put some more maples uh, and use this plot for uh, for our tree farm. Yeah, that's a, that's a good idea. Okay, so let's uh, skip the night and we'll be back in the morning. And here we go. Another morning. Beavers are already making their way through to construct this uh, staircase over here. And uh, right off you go. Can you reach all the way? Let's check this real quick as well. Let's hide the... Can you reach it? Yes, you can. Okay, that's beautiful. Uh, please to uh, this one first, and then we can uh, slowly start unlocking the rest of it as well. I think what we'll um, do, let's see, we'll give you the lowest of priorities, and then we can unpause it. So in case I forgot to do or unpause one of them, they can start doing this section in here. Uh, that's good. All right. Whoa, that went rather quickly. Oh yeah, it's three times the speed. Well, that's okay. We can maybe power through the night as well. We got two beaver kids, but that's uh, that's definitely not gonna be enough. So what we shall do is, it seems. Oh, that's gonna be a road that cuts through here. How about we do a couple more houses? Oh dear, there's the trout. Uh, do you know what? Let's uh, let's pause this. This isn't our top priority just yet. Uh, they've done that levy, start doing this one. I'm not sure if everything's going to be done in three days. Ooh. And I've noticed another problem. If we block this in, we're going to have to build another 
set of stairs going this way. I think. Yeah, well, we got a couple more blanks, so that should be fine. And we can't have any more builders. No. There's no way we're gonna... Um, yep, there is a way. Let's hope they'll be fine with this as well. Water, we've got an extra tank as well, so hopefully the next route isn't going to be too crazy. Here's another levee. Okay. Do you know what? I'll uh, try and let them build them, and maybe in two days we'll jump back into the uh, game as well. So you guys keep going. Oh yeah, they're gonna need food, water. It's already morning. I don't think they managed to sleep so maybe these hours are a little bit crazy for them since the distances are far but okay i'm gonna try and uh, see how much we can get constructed oh yeah there's no way we'll have this done maybe in the next drought then that's okay yeah so we'll be back before the drought starts all right the drought has started and there was a couple of problems well, the uh, dam over here was not complete, or the uh, wall of levees, and that's because we ran out of logs. I mean, of course. And this also means, yeah, you know, yeah, everything is very, very dry now. And I have just noticed as well that our food is not doing very good. So maybe it is time to start harvesting some some berries as well do you know what yeah let's have a couple of you in here uh four workplaces yep you're paused you are not doing anything and i think maybe we can cut you down as well since we do not have the logs required we definitely need a couple in store uh wait a second you don't oh i see i forgot to switch it back to grilled potatoes and that's why our food and uh, numbers were going down. Oh dear. Okay. That's alright though. So this link is actually almost complete. Just a uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. The levy's missing. And over here... Well, there's still a lot, isn't it? Yep. Hmm. Um... Uh, <laughs> we'll do one here. I guess we're gonna have to do it one by one. Uh, what would have been better if I moved this over? Uh, no. It's okay. Never mind. And why is this road here? I think it's gonna go... Oh yeah, I did uh, block in some of these bits in here as well. So it wouldn't be uh, too big of a struggle to build up those stairs. And yeah, there's a couple of sections where it's just gonna be too difficult. But that's okay. Uh, I think the main road is gonna go from here anyways. Yep, that's right. Oh, hold on. Hold on a second. No, that's gonna cut through. Well, that's okay. This can be our access to, um, I don't know, maybe this corner here in case we want to put uh, put a couple more water pumps down. Talking about the water. Got 55. The trout is another five days. Only one bump, which is no good. So what we can do, hopefully, is there a nice section? No. I mean, we could do it here, but let's just pause it for a second. You are... Okay, you've cl completed that levy over there, so that's all good. We still have a bit of greenery on that corner, so some of the plants will be will be still growing, so that's fine. And we are removing... Yeah, I think it's fine. I feel... Let's see, how many more days? You're halfway done, which is... Oh, you're almost done. So we'll get quite a few extra logs. What about maples? About 40%. But they do take 30 days. So halfway there. That's going to run into the next drought. And that's when they are going to be operational. Hmm. We've got 28 logs now. I guess, yeah, we got a few from there. Here's a bit of a build-up. But we're going to have to cross over. So, I mean, we could do... Hmm, we don't have blanks. That means we're going to have to put a couple of here, which we don't have. We are also going to need to increase our population. So why don't you do this one next? Uh, water's actually going up, so that's... Uh, yeah, you're you're quite full. So maybe you can be paused for the time being, but I've, I have a feeling I'm going to forget, forget, so let's not do that. And now, since we're not really rushing, why don't we decrease the... Uh, work hours as well okay so a few plants are out okay we'll skip the night and then we'll talk about uh, some of the other plans we have or goals that we have in this uh, this episode and maybe in the next ones as well 
Okay, so here we go. We're already uh, halfway through the next day. And I thought we were gonna... Oh, wait, this house is done. Okay, fantastic. We still have a few logs, so I know getting a little distracted. But how about we unpause you? And then very soon, that section will be done over there. Right, so our short-term goals... Let's have a quick look so the water flows all the way through. Okay, fantastic. So what I'd like to do here, I hope you can still see. Unfortunately, it's nighttime already, but it's it's going to be morning very quickly, so that's okay. So with these uh, little section in, sections in here, I was thinking of, um, of course, going to use, uh, we're going to use some of them for our farming purposes. But um, I am thinking we're going to have our sort of starting out village right in the middle in here. And um, I believe we can go pretty far into the back. So we have a bit of access to this metal here as well. I think most of the metal that we have around this map, I'm probably going to leave it. I'm not sure about this uh, on the ridge over here. But this back uh, this back area is going to go. Most of the, re uh, the rest of the metal around the map, I think we're just going to leave it for like natural features. And um, in this section here. So... I don't want to make it too sort of, how should I put this, like everything very boxy. I mean, this is already little squares with that we have here. But the uh, with the sort of roads and deficiency for the game calculations, I, I, I want to be a little bit more clever about how we build things. Sorry if this is a little bit too confusing, but what I mean is I don't want to have like straight roads, which would help with... Um, you know, pathfinding and, and, and all that. But uh, what I'm thinking is, let's uh, let's imagine this section here is going to be our, let's say, lumber and uh, our wood production district. That's the word I was looking for. So what I'm thinking not to do is, let's say we were growing the trees here. Then we have some uh, blanks production here, then uh, gears right here, and then maybe... I don't know, something else here. So this means um, if one of the more advanced recipes, then the viewers will have to go here to here and then maybe maybe next somewhere else. I kind of want to do that um, where the trees are growing here. Well, it depends how far we can go, of course. We'll have the blank factory right at the back because that's the very basic material, right? Alongside with the uh, with the lumber, of course. That means these uh, these blanks are not going to go anywhere behind us, but they're only going to move in one way direction. So the next stop somewhere here could be could be gears, perhaps. And uh, let's see what else do we have. So paper mill, for example, you can be pretty close to us as well, or wherever we store those logs. And then from paper mill, you know, they're going to go to a printing press, and that can be even a little bit further. And uh, what else do we have? Let's say wood workshop. So you're going to require blanks and what's it called? Resin, I think. Yeah, pine resin. So with those two materials, if we have blanks being produced here, and let's say we're growing the pine trees right about here, then they bring the resin, bring the blanks, and we're going to be produce, uh, producing the uh, treated blanks right about here. And then they can go off to our next sort of phase. And that should help with the pathfinding, hopefully. Well, I guess we'll see. Hope it all makes sense. It sort of does in my head, but you never know. All right, so another night again. Uh, let's speed up a little bit. We've got quite a bit of science, and I know, I know we're going to have to and want to keep going this way. Uh, how many logs do we have? Okay, we don't have a lot of logs. I was thinking of starting to build some of those platforms in here as well. But you know what? It's okay. Only one beaver constructing this but you're almost done yep there we go highest priority water we're okay food is okay actually never mind water's going down but now it's going up yep i think we're fine and any other trees coming halfway through with those those pines i'm pretty sure they were ready hopefully you're not gonna die nope you're not so that's fine and there is a nice empty spot here as well so how about a couple more okay um since it's only one day left how about we just got to the... Uh, oh, that was kind of funny when they ran through this section here. Yeah, we'll skip the... Uh, just the day that's left in here. And we'll be back as soon as the drought is over. Because I would very much like to complete this this whole section in here. 
All right, and here we go. So the drought is finally over. And so... Oh, okay. The uh, levy wall is almost complete as well. They'll get it done in the next turn. So now we just have this little section left in here. We've got a couple more blanks left. And I think when the next drought arrives, we're probably going to have to put you somewhere about here. Now, with the housing and the beaver population, I'd like to get some more of them as well. So maybe one more house right about there. And okay, this looks good. Some more maples being planted in the section where we took all the, what is it, blueberries out. A few more pines are growing. Yeah, I think things are going a lot, a lot better now. Let's see, you're done this section how many builders do we have oh we don't have a lot of logs so let's not let's not go too crazy with this you guys oh only wait i thought you had a few more percentages in there oh maybe we've already cut some of them down 83 percent for you so maybe uh okay seems another drought is right around the corner We've only done half of our plans, which is a little disappointing, I guess. I mean, we haven't quite managed to go to the other side. And there isn't a lot of trees in here either. There's a couple more over there. But these maples just... Oh, wait a second. 97%. So a couple should be coming online very shortly. So that's, uh, that's great. Yeah, okay. Why don't you focus on maples this time? Since we already had a few, a few grow up. There we go. Get this planted as well, and then we get get an occasional uh, other types of uh, trees as well. Yep. So if they get these two done, which I think they will, that's already not too bad. We'll hold a little bit water here, but that's not really helping with our farms and stuff. Okay, the problem is logs. I uh, was thinking let's cut through and maybe expand that way. Hmm. You're going to have to start planting those th uh, trees a little quicker. And maybe if the builders don't have anything to do, maybe we'll expand you as well. Yep, okay, you can access the whole area, which is, which is pretty good. What about... Oh, yeah, okay. So let's get a lot more maples. I mean, they're not going to be, you know, grow up very quickly, but... It's all investing for our, for the better future, I suppose. And then we'll just tidy up this section here as well. Maybe just uh, get this road going. Yeah, that's good. Uh, food numbers are going up, so it's water. I do worry that we might get a slightly longer drought, so maybe we should try and store up a bit more water. But, I mean, let's double check. Okay, so this pool is going to hold quite a bit of water. And in the first few cycles, we're not going to go past 10 days, I think. I don't know if they've changed anything. Hmm, I guess we'll find out in about a day. Uh, let's give you a priority. That's going to be done now as well. And... Yeah, let's just um, try and build it as quick as we can. 26 logs. A few more trees over there. Is that a... Okay, there is another chestnut tree in here. But they haven't cut this down yet. Oh, okay, interesting. Right, so you're gonna go... Plenty of maples here. Oh, they're not gonna grow, grow in the drought, though. So, yeah, this is super important in here. Uh, okay, that's gonna be a little bit annoying. We're gonna have to do it one by one. And since we don't need access in there... Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going to have to redesign a couple of things. So, I guess um, here is not not a bad location for the stairs. Let's stick you right about there. Okay. Now, you, full of carrots, potatoes, you can reach them, right? Yes, you can. And in here, yeah. Loads of potatoes, few carrots, that's fine. Let's um, grow the population even further. Still got another three beds, four baby beavers. Okay, that's changed around a little bit. And as soon as it it's done... Oh, there we go. Five days, okay. Yep, that's, uh, that's not too bad. Any... Oh, wait a second. Okay. 
Here we go. And water... You can't really access that one. Maybe this is gonna be important to to complete since we do have a few extra beavers now so maybe one isn't enough but i don't quite remember the exact numbers how many one can support and i think uh, once we go to about 30 beavers we're gonna have to do, uh, start doing some hauling as well uh what do you take okay 10 blanks how many blanks do we need i'm a little worried about our yep off you go do you have a spare beaver? What can we what can we do? Well, you're online. Yep, that's still a bit spare one. Okay, here's another one. We need two, four, six, and eight in here. Oh no, yeah, six, seven. No, that's fine. By the time we need the last bit, I think we sh we shall have some more maples as well. Okay, right. So where are we with things? In four days, I think we'll have this section done. Uh, maybe highest priority for you. Oh, wait a second. Let's pause it. We'll need those logs in the grilled potato house. Uh, do you know what? No, never mind. Okay, so I'm going to try and build this. Build this up, get it completed. And hopefully in about three days we'll be uh, we'll be done. And, and then we'll jump uh, back into the game. Unless there's something, some sort of emergency that we should definitely, you know, investigate. Alright, we'll be back shortly then. Alright, here we go. The drought has just ended. And we are so close to completing this section as well. And I've just realized a fatal mistake. We've left no space for... Uh, for the dam. Okay. I think I was too eager to get this whole section done. And... <laughs> okay, there's only five in here. We are going to have to delete something anyway, so how about we remove this section and that's going to need... Oh, there's no logs left now. Hope you still have a few. Yes, you still have five. Okay, that's fine. It's okay. Uh, this means we probably should... Do you know what? Maybe we'll just... Uh, let's build only one and then we'll see what happens. We we'll can pause you as well. Leaves us with one spare beaver, and what I've also decided to do whilst we were in the drought is to put a couple of platforms in here, and then this way we can start building the road where we want to go eventually. I mean, we are going to have to reach this metal section in here, and and here comes the water. Okay, there we go. Uh, beavers, let's see, no logs at all. So, uh, yeah, let's... Uh, Pause you. Oh, you haven't even completed this one yet. Come on, there must be some trees online. There we go. Just one of them, but... um, <laughs> Let's see. We're going to try and keep going. Once we get to about here... We could cut a few trees down. Yep, let's do that as well. Bit of an emergency reserve, I suppose. What I'll have to wait for is this platform in here uh, highest priority and once this is done we'll uh, jump back yep all right and here we go so quite a lot of trees have now fully matured and we got this little uh, section with a couple of extra beavers as well so the log numbers have uh, skyrocketed really yeah so now we are just uh, tidying up this section in here and we can complete this road uh, let's see. You are almost done. You could build maybe this one next. That would be fantastic. And then the next thing we are going to have to observe is to see if this one single dam is going to be enough. If not, we'll uh, remove this link in here and build another dam. So let's uh, take a quick look whilst the beavers go and get some get some sleep. Uh, food actually is starting to go low as well. So you... Oh, wait a second. What's wrong with you? Uh broken teeth oh okay this reminds me we are probably gonna have to build a few few buildings for them i don't think we we need two of them maybe one is enough and highest priority okay yep definitely gonna have to improve the well-being to get some bonuses as well and uh, what i did notice if we can grab one of the beavers uh this one here it seems with each level or once we reach a certain milestone um, it, it, they've 
redone this system in here. What it used to be is that each of those has a very specific bonus that you that they give you. So you'd have to you'd want to hold oh here. Okay, we'll go there in a second. So it focus on certain ones that you want the most. But now, the more you have, it's just gonna increase the. Uh, well, yeah, all these three in in different stages. So it seems we are getting. A, oh wow. Okay, bit of a flood. Let's take you out uh, and allow some more water to flow through. Okay, let's not have our whole colony flood. Is this gonna help us? I dearly hope so. And maybe uh, maybe you over here as well. Maybe th two is enough. Uh, no, this volume seems to be pretty, pretty heavy. So how about we stick just one more in here? Okay, here we go. Highest priority for you guys as well. And since we have a couple of beavers, yep, let's go. Let's build them as quick as we can. And now it's filled up pretty nicely over here. Okay, so with this, as soon as this is completed, yep, I think we have reached the main goal of this episode. We are going to be able to store some more water in here, and I think if we need to bump even some more, we could use this corner because it seems it's a, a little bit steeper in here, yeah. Uh, two level high, which means it's going to be perfect to put a couple of water bumps in here if we have to. I mean, you are not going to be able to help us a lot anymore, which is fine. Uh, you guys are running. Yep, so things are good. Yeah, and here we go. So the dam is now complete. They're just uh, finishing off the last section in here. And water seems to be flowing through pretty nicely. And we are definitely going to want to have a few more maples in here as well. So let's just complete that. And... Um, do you know what? We haven't really built a lot of things in this episode, but having this wall of levees and the dam over here is pretty huge for us. This means I think most of this area is going to be safe for about, what is it, 10, yep, 10 days. That's how many days we can have this whole area fertile until it drops by a level. So I think in the future as well, once we get uh, the dynamite, all the explosives we can make little pockets here and there i don't think we have to do the whole thing so we can save a bit of dynamite and maybe just do the corners perhaps um yeah happy days so we are gonna got the episode right about here and i'm thinking in the next episode we'll start building a bit of a farm so well it's either gonna be a tree farm i'm thinking maybe this side yep let's do it on this side and this side maybe will be for our food production for the for the long term perhaps and we'll keep a well yeah i, I do want to start developing this area as well so let's start building the maple farm right about here so we have enough trees and logs in store uh, this is pretty healthy for now but we can grow or get through it pretty quickly anyways enough about uh, all this Six days for the for the drought, and um, let's uh, finish the episode like this. Okay, here we go. We can see the water's got down, but here it stays pretty nicely with us. So yeah, that's the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching and for all those lovely comments as well. And I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.